We're in the swing of things for March Madness. Right now, we're checking in with Arkansas, who beats Illinois just barely. A lot more interesting than probably Arkansas and locked on Arkansas. John Neighbors was probably hoping it. At no point did I feel like it was done. I'm sure that felt even more extreme in the building. Oh, yeah. I mean, this was a game that doesn't matter how Arkansas plays and how well they play in the first half or even the first part of the second half. They've blown so many leads this year, and no lead is safe. I kept tweeting it out every single time I gave a score update. No lead is safe. 15 points doesn't matter. No lead is safe. And it wasn't really safe. I mean, Illinois kept plugging away. They went on a few runs, but Arkansas was able to weather the storm. Had some great performances. Devo Davis, Jordan Walsh, uh, some guys have really played a huge part in this game. So, uh, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day how you win. It's just that you win. So the Razorbacks survive in advance. An ugly win, but a win is a win. They do advance. Um, going forward, what are some stuff you want to see out of them? Obviously not blowing a lead and kind of getting out ahead and keeping one would be great. But anything else as you look forward to Kansas and all the other stuff ahead? Uh, I'd like to see more of them just being able to not have some so many careless turnovers. I know it's kind of cliche to say, but the way that this team has gone and the way that they have played so many times this year, where they just turn the ball over at the worst types of places and in the worst type of ways, it would be nice to see them actually come forward and make a big play out of it like often and be able to hold on to the ball as many times as they possibly can in clutch situations and not just throw the ball away. So they can just shore that up. I mean, they can give Kansas a run for their money. So I, I think as long as they just don't hurt themselves and don't uh, you know, commit all so many turnovers, I think that will be the difference. Obviously, they've blown some leads. We poke fun at them for that. But does that kind of adversity, having been in those kinds of games, serve them well this time of year? Well, they certainly know what not to do uh, to blow those leads. So hopefully this time around, they're starting to learn how to do it. And they've done it a few times, but doing it again in Illinois and knowing that uh, this is where it's all do or die. They didn't have great performances out of Nick Smith. They didn't have uh, a great performance out of uh, Ricky Council necessarily at times. But I think that they've learned enough to be able to play the games that they know how to play and also, be sure to go up against teams where, hey, you're, you're reckless abandoned. You face teams that you've never faced before. You're going up against Kansas. You've never faced them before. So they don't know what to expect out of you. So go out there and just play play loose, play fun, and go out there and play like it's all on the line because it is. Fair enough. John Neighbors will have more on Arkansas's win over Illinois and hopefully our future wins in the rest of the tournament. We appreciate you. Check out Locked On Razorbacks and, of course, Locked On College Basketball, all part of Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Thank you.